Hi there guys and welcome back again Eric here from the Alpines and Today this is the block that we're going to be irrigating It's all about drip irrigation And uh, we're going to come up here and have a look at the filter systems that's in place And how it disperses onto the dripper lines All I want to do today is show you how we put this maze under water It's under a drip irrigation system So I need to open up some valves first in order to not to have too much pressure build up there by the river where the pump's situated. So follow me, let's get going. a kilometer from that tap where we just were down to the river to the pump but anyway let's keep going so yeah we are at the river now and this is the big pump sorry it's very hot today probably about 38 close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius uh, this is a three-phase pump um, 38 kilowatt so let's get it started up show you something with this one levy here there's the caution that's where you've got to really be careful on what's happening there you don't want it to go over four bar I try not to so I keep it at four bar slowly opening opening until the whole line's full it took today about 25 minutes almost half an hour but yet now the taps open and we're sitting at the correct uh, pressure Right, so now it's off to the top there where we need to now go and open up the rest of the taps and just wash the filters out quickly. So let's go. Ooh. Okay, here we are back on the land where the maze is and we're passing that first uh, tap that we opened earlier. And now we go up to the next step, which is on the other side of these, uh, oh, we call them millies here, it's the big white millie. Okay, I must get moving, I need to open up that tap there. This is where we put the, the fertilizer in, it opens up over here, you put the fertilizer in and shut it off over here. And of course, here's the uh, outlet pipe, and here's, yes, here's the inlet pipe, and here's the outlet pipe. They're closed at the moment, we'll open them up. And uh, this is the filter here, we're coming closer now now. It's just very noisy when it's running, so that's why I'm showing you now. Same story here.
there's the blue line coming in, blue line going out here, flips into two, and again into two, pipes going down that way, and pipes there, I'll take you in closer now. Okay, there we go, you can see the split, and there's the pipe, and there go the dripper lines. This drip irrigation gives about 1.6 liters per hour. Well, I think I deserve this. It took about two hours to do that whole round trip there. So, uh, one thing I didn't mention was that the pipes on the farm, the irrigation pipes under the ground that have been put in are fairly old. They are asbestos and they are about six inches, you know, the, the diameter of the pipes. So that's why we're cautious on allowing the pressure to go through the system slowly. We first let the pressure build up and then we open up more and more all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting and uh, I'm going to have a dip now. So see you around. <laughs>